Good morning everyone and uh, it's good to be with you again. This is your normal Thursday vlog which I'm trying to do on a regular basis as, uh, as I said last week. So this is uh, our third one um, and the idea is to give you an update of what's happening and also to remind you on what was, of what was said on Sunday. So the first thing I wanted to mention was that later today, uh, depending on what time you see this, uh, lunchtime Thursday, there's the sportly activity and if you can get over there just to support, uh, get alongside, make cups of uh, well squash and stuff like that for the children, uh, please do get involved. Uh, it's just, just support it if you can, that would be good. It helps us uh, as a church to reach out to people, which is what we're trying to do. Um, Thursday evening, so hopefully if you get this during the day, uh, you will have the opportunity of coming this evening, 7.30, and we are going to pray. We're going to pray particularly into the Alpha course, which is starting on Thursday the 12th of September. Uh, speaking of which, Sunday was about reminding us about how to evangelise. And do you remember Nicky Gumbel spoke about uh, our proximity to people? We've all got people who are around us um, and that, we, that he had five Ps. We need to persuade people. We need to be gentle and we need to be respectful, but we, we ought to be ready to give a reason for the hope that we have in our centre, and so we can persuade people. Um, and the third P was proclamation, just talking about our faith. And I thought it was wonderful the way he just reminded us that Paul the Apostle, when he was questioned, he just told his story. This is what's happened to me. And we all have a story of what has happened to us. So we can explain a very simple message, how God has come into our lives and we've been changed. Uh, and the, the fourth P was power. The gospel comes not just with persuasion, but with power. We can pray for people and we can ask God to touch their lives. And I think that's a, a very powerful thing to be able to do, to pray for people. Most people, if you say, can I pray for you? They will say, uh, yes, that's fine, because they'll think either it will do no harm or it might do me some good. So uh, that's a great way to introduce people to the power of God. And finally, prayer, that we pray for people, uh, we pray for our neighbours, we pray for ourselves, we pray for opportunities, and God will give us courage and boldness as we pray. So um, so that's about it. Um, what else is coming up? Uh, next Tuesday, I'm meeting up with Walter and some of the guys just to think and pray and plan uh, for this next kind of coming year. Like we want to spend some time together. Please pray for us, uh, because it's it's important that we do uh, know God's will and that as a church that we follow the leading of the Spirit. So please pray for us in that as well. Um, and I think that's probably it. So prayer meeting tonight. Sportly, if you're able, if you get this message early and you can get over to, to be in Bathurst Park, um, uh, see you Sunday, which is great. Uh, we've got some friends who are going to come, hopefully from Biggin Hill with a young family who are going to be... Um, uh, coming up to visit us on Sunday, so hopefully they'll be in church with us. Please welcome them. God bless you. Have a great day, and uh, see you Sunday, if not before.